Amsterdam Mayo and Sage Valley, both teams from the first group. Uh, we, were, I think, most of us were expecting a closer game with Sage Valley and Anita Max win winning, but it was a clean sweep by Anita Max winning, and they're right now playing the upper bracket finals. And I don't know, it was the game was super close until it wasn't, kind of thing. Um, one of the funny things was it went to four four, I believe. And then Exo called the timeout. He he did a little bit of cooking in the strat book, and then from that timeout to the end of the game, they haven't lost a single round. So he's definitely he's definitely cooking up something. But right now we're gonna focus on Amsterdam Mayo and um, Sage Valley, which have arguably two of the highest peaked and highest. Um, are really not, but they have definitely two of the highest speakers in terms of rank in this in this server. So it's gonna be a fun match. It's gonna be a best of three. I don't believe we have the the maps right now. Well, It's boring o'clock again. I don't know. Where's this? Where's the? Uh, I don't even know. Every map is just boring at this point. Nah, I'm just joking. Nah, bind is. I'm, I'm joking. I actually enjoy bind a lot. Um, and unless unless teams start to go like too defaulty and like, oh, I'm gonna TP this, then I'm gonna TP that. Unless they're doing the donut strat, I don't really care about this map. Uh Oh no, um, maybe. I mean, it's a lower bracket finals, it's an elimination map match. Uh, whoever loses this BO3 is not gonna play tomorrow. Um, I think both the Vipers, I believe, uh, in my opinion, if you're playing Viper on this map, um, basically you're taking out one initial. Um, impactful, like because again, since the TPs, there's a lot of rotations going back and forward, and especially on attack, having that Viper lurk through either showers or uh, sorry, or or short, it's it's so much pressure that you're putting on the defense, and having this battle between Ammo and Chris, and it's gonna be interesting. I, I believe they're the keys to the attacks. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Sage Valet is starting on attack on this map. Uh, pretty similar comps, and I'm expecting a banger match. Um, Yes, they did play Sage because it was uh, ice, ice box, so they're basically just putting on Sage everyone. I, yeah, this, I mean, we're both a little bit slow. Maybe you went out as well. Who knows? Maybe I saw you, maybe I didn't. <laughs> I believe, I believe Sage Wale is playing the. Sophia is playing that sky. That goes there. 
And with the difference of mana, I believe it's a comfort pick with the gecko. I also applaud it as both both of us were in a v were part of VTO and gecko was definitely something that we enjoyed a lot. Even though I have a, I'm just hoping that both brims don't pull a me and have a bad map on this on bind because a, a bring me with a steam is always yeah. nice. You. They're in. Spike planted. Wrong buddy out. That's a nice pairing of, of utility and we have a fast plant and then a fast flood. Let's see. Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah, but it's just too clean. It's just too clean. And One enemy I'm on this. And what a nice yeah, reaction and ammo the wonder duo. Then making up some grounds, getting some nice skills, playing that trade game, always playing together, they pick showers, they pick lamps together, everything. This makes it so much easier. Also it was also a 3v2. Like mana there, I believe just has to talk in showers. Plays the time like he never peeks until they tap. Then they just double swing from lamps and and shower. But to their credit, it was a nice and fast retake from Sage Wale as Herhan just sits down reaction with a nice one tap with the sheriff. Selling the round and we get a nice shot in all chat. <sighs> I mean you gotta praise when they get the shit the shot. Planted. Bomb body out. I'm surprised mana doesn't just buy wingman. It's like a 200 credit piece of utility that you're pretty much guaranteed to and ask swifts. Um, Chris, what was that? Um, so. That was interesting. Shoot the bad guys. How's that for a plan? Help a girl out, would you? And I, I, I know I have some insider trading information that I know the vibes were always good last map for Amster Mayo, even though they were losing, so I believe the vibes are still going to be good this map. But I, I'm pretty sure there's a little bit mad that they didn't win that round. That Brim getting two there when, when Zindal is just sitting in a corner with a little bit of whiffage. This. I don't think as well. And then now we got screws, but mana needs to trade. And there's the wingman planting, and they pretty sure heard ammo TP there, and it should be a a fairly easy um, close of this round. But it's still true, and they're playing a part, but as as long as Mano just flashes as he drops, and Faye doesn't even need the flash, he just needs a nice one tap. It's a bit costly for Amsterdam Mayo, but they they still get the round. Um, I believe the also I believe the in the scoreboard the names of the teams are uh, switched because it's Amsterdam Mayo on the attack side, not the. Not Sage Wale, so don't worry about that. 
because I was I was a little bit confused when I was a bit confused when the Amster may get the second round since this was their first buy, but it is what it is. It doesn't matter. I thought I was I thought I was still drunk from last night. I guess not. Um, it's nah 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 nah. We're the good. We're good. Off. We're good. Only water. Only water. And we. are and this is why sometimes this map is just boring because teams just fall into this default. It's strong, it works, nothing wrong with it. It's just sometimes a bit boring to watch this map. And again, that pressure from the Viper, you always have to have someone can really fully rotate unless you see the Viper on the other side. Pardon. It's, it's that much of a pressure, especially when you have someone like Chris on that Viper who you know he's a shooter. Yeah, I think it was. Ex I think Heron was expecting a flash there from from Sky, but the flash never came. So, I don't know. and they used to flood with even Phantom, but Faze just mowing them down, and it's they get the the second round to tie it up in a fairly fairly easy B side take. And, and and you see the adjustment, they're just going 5 down B, if there's no one there, they just TP and crunch showers, I believe, or no, they're just pushing B long, with that steaming. <laughs> yeah, and Ammo gets killed, nice space saving my hair hand, but will they expect the flank, will the call be made that the trip was shot, and... <laughs> And I like this play by Chris, playing ahead of the the eco push, but he nicely gets naded by, I believe it's Abby Dabby on the race for Sage Wally. And <laughs> nice flash by Mano, just get that info, they're still there. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to, and... and you love to see it when teams play this discipline when playing against a eco or like a semi boy with sheriffs because so often we see in Valorant games the those eco wins and it was it was nicely they they see the adjustments they pre I'm pretty sure they heard the flash pop on B long so they just pet it up on A uh, get that kill on the straggler playing weak side and. It's just a uh, all the side right until there. they get the kill. There. But he's instantly traded. He didn't even rose, he just didn't shoot it. Zendela gets another one. She's finally traded by Wolfful. Sophie's still alive. Last player standing. And Chris Manners. Now, will he expect that Viper in Lamps? That's it. I don't know if they call the TP uh, right now. Um, I mean, nice, nice, clean, controlled spray by ammo. He knows he's low, so he doesn't need to um, go for that headshot. Just get two bullets in. Will controls playing get the kill? And I think it's the strategy from Sage Wale, like. They're trying to f retake as fast as possible and don't let Amser Mayo get into their positions for the post plant. And still some half buys, but we see a bulldog from Sage Wale. This is 
one of the advantages of having planted the, the bomb every single round, you build so much of an icon. And I've been able to look at. And. He... Damn. Abby. Abby's showing up. He had a rough first map, I believe. And. Got one. But. <laughs> Airhan. Exactly and this is taken. I love this. I love. I love this play by Herhan. He pushes CT, he knows with the cipher rule that they're all there. Tried to get one and with the cage get out. He didn't manage, but exactly. It's almost like. And. F Fai only getting the one there is kinda unlucky, but Herhan is just having a round and. Amazing. Amazing timing work by Herhan. Uh, Catches ammo, I believe, rotating back. I believe rotating back from long to side because after they. Yeah, it's just, it's that fast rotate. Again, a lot of this map is played around what info you have, what can you do with the other side of the map, and especially if I'm ammo there. I think you you need to stay long. You can't risk being caught off guard like this. I like this play by Chris sitting in his smoke, and he gets Sophia. Zendaya gets Erhan, but Chris managed to trade reaction. Then Zendaya gets another one, and he has the ult. <laughs> they still have Viper ult. They have Viper ult and Brim ult, I believe Wolfel is playing for that ult. Chris is trying to get one to get some sp But I like the blood by Abby. He pushes. It's both of them low, I believe. But it's halved already. Why isn't Zindalo sticking at it? That's why they put me in Zendala doesn't. Zendala doesn't doesn't know the lore. We're talking about the clutch master, I need this. the double time MVP of BCT, woeful, and yeah. Uh... I also believe you just stick it there because it's half special, especially when you when when Waffle is just running through showers. You, I'm pretty sure you can hear it, but it doesn't matter. We're back in. I, I'm a, maybe trying to do that. Nat sold uh, decides otherwise to do it, taking an aggressive angle early. But this, but this, and Erhan just. That little spam that it's the common angles. It's one of the reasons and as expected Sejuala just instantly goes for that side. There's no it's a five five V two. B side is all set up, but there's no there's no chance they're gonna win then. I think this is one of the issues with now running that cipher, running the fade instead. Um, it's just making making it a, a lot harder to hold sides because with that cipher you can play weak side with it. Maybe maybe do a little um, and as we get a little tech pause, we can we can uh, discuss a little bit more what's happening, what's not happening. I, 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 we forgot to mention, but Sage Wall is playing without a cipher, especially starting on the fence. That cipher setup on either A or B is so crucial in, in um, all of these rounds, because 
one of the easiest, like, this, it's kind of like Icebox. You have to take space, you have to take fights. Otherwise, like, on the fence, there's not a lot of space that you can work on. And we've seen the rounds that uh, Sage Wally, apart from the pistol, the round that they won. Right here. Right here. Right now, it's just so hard, because if you're doing that, you're going, like, two, three people pushing into a side of it, and then... And I, I guess Viper can, in some way, do that, but, like, with a Cypher, you're so much safer, because you can actually delay them. You have your cages, you have your chips, you can even do, try to do a little sneaky um, one-way cage with, like, a trip. And while we're still on pause, um, I I can inform the viewers that the first map of the other game has finished. And Ida Max winning won the first uh, won a cent thirteen four, so they're continuing that um, stronghold of a uh, of domination right now in this first day. No, Anita, Anita Max winning. And this, this super sub in Kenny um, MVPing that game with 20 frags on ISO on Ascent. But back, yes, Kenny is is their seed, is subbing in for their seed four. Um, and right now it's, while we looking at the dates for VCT EMEA starting on the 20th of, of February for those of you that don't speak. Um, I don't even know what language that is, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, as we got a nice look around, um, if the observe if the production can show us the scoreboard for a second, so we can check the old orbs. I believe there's some. I'm, yeah, I believe his PC is. And I believe. Right now they're not doing anything, but I believe um, Amster Mayo has been defaulting their uh, strats against Ecos on A because it's a uh, it's like a longer angles. Maybe try to get that fight. Also, Herhan is one old orb away from Showstops, so I believe they will try to get that point. And this is our. This is something that I really like to do as Gecko, especially on... <coughs> I'm sorry. I have something in my throat. Um, something that I really enjoy doing with Gecko, and I don't know if they're going to do this or not, is use that old on um, eco rounds, because sometimes you get dicey and it's just an easier way to clear. And especially... Like, it's fairly easy to farm more with the plants and just the orbs. You don't even have to focus too much, so... It's usually, and as Mana asks to be watched for a second, I, I'm confused. Um, it's so nice to, usually if you're, especially on attack, and in maps like Bind, where it's fairly easy to get the orbs as an attacker, because that space is really hard, unless you're dumping a lot of utility from the defender side. It's, it's really more to the attack side, maybe the shower one is fairly easier with the orb, with the viper wall through the TP now, but still, you should be getting at least two gecko woods a half as an attacker sided. Um, 
Right now we're still waiting. <laughs> and it's kind of unfortunate that when the first map ends is when we get the um, the break. So right now, we can be entertaining you. Yeah, hey, thank you, bro. Love you. And where in the map are we right now? I never see... Oh, okay, I see where we are. It's in heaven. Oh, no. No, it's heaven. It's heaven. Like, I, I, I'm... I'm a I'm a, a a little rat that plays in that spot a lot, so I know those colors, you know. <laughs> oh, I forgot there was a a Val Geogaster game, and I believe we should be starting. Fairly soon, uh, reaction spin. <coughs> it says it's fine. We should be, be be ready. And again, as we can see, Amsterdam Mario default defaulting uh, against the eco more towards A. Take those fights. Um, try to run away a little from the closer okay. range fights. And as as I told you, as I said, Gecko Volt on that. Half buys and equals makes it so much easier to take the side. And he's just pushing and he gets ammo. No mollies. No mollies uh, are gonna stop this man from taking that side. And we get. I'm surprised we actually got both the Viper and the Gecko for an half buy. I, um, but hey, there's nothing wrong with this, you know, to secure it around. And we get the Gecko Wolt again as Zindala gets another. And as long as Chris can manage to keep this ult away and Mano gets unlucky timing with the ult, Chris managed to pop out of this. And it's just bobbing and waving, bobbing and waving again. Bring them down. No time. And a valiant effort by Sage Wale, but they just can't, they're not, they weren't fast enough this time. And that play by Chris in his ult just going back in, back in, go, going out, just making sure that that Viper ult stays as long as possible, make, getting some kills in, getting some kills out, makes this a, a nice round. <coughs> and and again, I, I believe uh, Amsterdam is defaulting to B, oh, nice. having that Viper on A, just making some pressure. Again, having at least one person uh, uh, being kept by that Viper is already important enough, because the def especially defending beats, it's super important to have as much utility as possible, especially without a Cypher. And as we see, Ekhan just satchels in. Sight's taken, fairly easy. It was a flash into Satchel's taken. And Heron whiffs on Sophia when she's not even looking. What happened there? But Faye is holding the angle. And Sophia's dogging, clearing elbow. We get that flash through the that sky window on behind. We see Abby popping in deal for the retake. And the sky ult as well. And Manum. And I guess the third will be so nice. But I'm Toxins going up. Toxin screen down. No, and I believe he goes for the save. Will they push him? No, they just go for the safe play, get the rounds. Wolfal actually goes into the TP and kills him. Makes a smart play of walking in backwards so you can the catch the window and it's looking kind of rough right now for Sage Wale. Their defense is getting, is getting, is getting ex a little exposed. It's 
a little bit like the um, the first map for Sage Wally on Icebox. Their defense was a, was was good. They ma managed to make it close, and then it just uh, skyrockets. The other time it was four four to eight four. Right now it's three three to eight three. And I believe Zinelli is gonna ult to stop this plant. Or not. She also a bit late with reaction and heavy and Zendana managed to get the straights and it's it's a 5v2 right now and Chris is trying to keep the control. We still we have Gekko ult again. And Chris managed to get the kill but And it's a they managed to get this round back. Um, it's important that they didn't lose. Um, they make a little comeback at the end, get that fourth round. Maybe now the getting this pistol okay. is gonna be super important. Make it like uh, six eight, and then play out the attack from that side. But it's looking really good for Amsterdam Mayor right now with how their attack half went. As we see the little rats of Cypher um, setups. But as you can see, you can just do the Cypher setups on B, play another person there, and then just have him, have him fast rotate. And it's so nice to just have that um, little extra layer of security on that B side, because then you can just triple stack A, and A is fairly easy to take. <laughs> so I've been talking to myself for the past hour, oof, as Ammo managed to get a, a nice entry pick on showers on Mano, but then um, Amster Mayo just floods in showers, gets two picks back, so it's back to 3v4 as they go back, but then again, they can manage to stay 2 on a because of that cipher, as Sophia kind of whiffs the flash, they get out, Wolfel gets one, and the delay, the delay that Cypher offers, Azindela gets another one on the flank, very nicely played, as Erhan nades, <coughs> I'm sorry, Erhan nades the plan to default it, face fighting Abby, Abby managed to kill us, but he's a little bit low, and what will Erhan, he has a chance, they're both Kinda low if you manage to get Zindala. We're skulking in the molly and nice round by Zindala. Gets three, gets the plant and the clutch. And it's back to 5 8. And again, the, the special is especially, especially important for the, um, for the, the defenders make some ground back up. And let's see how they play their, their buy now.
All right, welcome Thanks. everybody. Uh, and finally, I think people were thinking that I was like mad or some or something because I was talking to myself. But we're back. Yeah, for I some think reason, we can uh, hear Zach now. For some reason, I've been talking a lot and I've been giving some great casting, I think, and I've been muted the whole time. That's a W. Uh, <laughs> sorry to everybody. Sorry to everybody in the teams that are playing right now that are waiting on my dumb ass to figure out my mic. Uh, but we are going to go into the game real quick. Lovely to be with you, Johnny. <laughs> I mean, welcome back. Uh, we've been, we've been, we've been doing some nice back and forth, but you just, you guys are just eating the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just doing a, you're just doing a solo cast. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Um, uh, Beckett, we don't really care. Uh, okay, he's just, he's just cheering for his team. I thought he was shit talking the casters, but I guess he's not. I mean, look at it. You know, his team is doing fine this map without him. Wofel's doing great. I think some, sure. And Wofel's Wofel playing gonna... insane uh, the last map on uh, Sunset. As we have a little. We're, we're going to wait a little bit because I believe one of the players was. Taking a bathroom break. We are we ready though. We're gonna get back into the game. Back. No ults and online right now. It's Eco for Sage Wale uh, as they're all five towards and below. You, and you can already see the difference in plans on attack. Uh, Hamster Mayo was defaulting the Ricos on A. Right now, Sage Wale is doing the Ricos on B with a nice, Gets nice a lot of damage. Flash. That's nice damage, but you can... Oh, look at the is, TP guess... play, though. Look at the TP. They tried and crunch, and they got the info, and A is for free right now. All TP. And this is going to be an interesting round, to say the least. Add a knife out, trying to take spawn, because they know the rest was on B. Chris already flanking. Abby gets one. Can they get a second? Because if so, the spawn will be clear. Oh, Faye baits out some shots. Abby's throwing a nade. And phase down. Bomb is planted for backside, so don't, they don't have to worry about that. Mano stuck shower with the wolf or Chris just lurking up lamps. Can he get a timing? I think he got one. They don't expect him in the smoke. He gets Abby. But Mano and Wolf will get dropped. And Chris as well. It's 8 6 for Handsome Mayo. Nice round by the attackers. Play discipline. They, they know they're playing against an eco. They don't try to take uh, al fights alone. So in, in trying to minimize the chances of losing a gun to the defenders and maybe losing that, that round, they play always together. <coughs> Calm. They just wait for the tap and the peaks from the defenders, and it's a fairly clean response to the eco. And now we see yeah. the full buy from the defense. Uh, as you can see, the gecko and the race. Keep going in, in hand with that flash yes. and dualist combo. As we see four people from Sage Wale just going A, hey, do the default dog. You flash up with the Keiko flash and you get it back. Great utility by Sage Wale. They just couldn't get the C's quite right. This is a big brawl for long right now. Adam close right, they get the info on him. Will we go down? Not without taking one at least. Gets traded Reaction. by reaction. B long is there, sort of taken. Look at showers though, look at showers. Do they know that Chris puts it short? Right no, they down, don't. Hey. And Della drops. It's a 3-4. You can see the difference in defending style. Yes, you very much Chris, so. He knows there's people on A, and he clearly doesn't see the Viper on A short, so he just takes that space for free right now. This yeah. is why it's so important to take space on this map. It makes... For the defenders, it's such a small map to play with, and if you can extend it by a little bit, it just makes it a lot easier. Yeah, and Sage A right now is very worried whether or not someone pushed short. They don't know that Chris towards Lambs. He will take a peek soon, though. Ammo spots him as well and loses the fight. Or wins the fight from Chris, I mean. It's only I'm surprised Wofel Chris here. doesn't actually commit to that peak, you know? Yeah. Like... Wofel doesn't expect nice ammo. Ammo with peak too. With ammo. And now it's very and... much winnable. And I don't know if if you're Amster Mayor, do you really need to go for this round? 
I mean, they can try, but I believe that eco is not that great because i mean if we're looking at the positions it's very questionable from sage of all a right now it's a good play by sofia going short because that way we at least have a crosshair they have the wingman on bomb one is down does she expect one more she doesn't then react she cleans it up and it's a nice nice bonus from the absolutely the attackers and as you can see right now, Zendelda popping off. She's been getting a lot of impact frags, especially on defense, making the rounds close. And right now, she's taking a little more of a slow stop, making sure that Abby and especially uh, Ammo is just taking that fight. They're setting up their team probably with a sky flash. That's how they got the kill on Waffle. Yeah. And I it's looking good right now for Sage Wall. I will call out Hamster Mayo because they were in an advantage that, one, that last round. And the same thing happened as on Sunset, where they threw 4v3s very easily. Um, looking at Chris, he did have a timing. I don't know if they will expect him in there. They're still holding for anything, but I don't think he realizes that he has a great timing like that, and Abby gets him. And I love this play by Sage Wallet. Like, they're just oh, the playing back as mana just buggies Abby down. But I like this play by Sage Wallet. Like, just holding angles together like a high Absolutely. level and a hooker the ones on outside of showers just wait for the push of the defenders on eco and right now they're playing very clean amster mayo is the still on in on this as we have all three towards lamps Faye bites the dust though and goes down i was just shooting his own teammate right there Woeful mm. drops as well <laughs> for ammo. Didn't know what to shoot at. He falls as well by Mano. Can get one. Mano get one more. Gonna get three. One v two right now. This still is doable, but not a lot of bullets. Gets pinged by the fate know. dart. And probably gonna save this gun. Mano is just trying to do. Or not? As reaction peaks. Wait, the the money is off. Can she kill Zendella? Oh, the... I believe the Molly got the wingman. Oh, it still gets the wingman. Oh, wow. A nice round. Did Cinderella shoot Manama. the wingman? Because I feel like the, the, the bomb was like a, more, a bit more to the left there for the wingman. I honestly don't know, but whatever Cinderella did, yeah. she did it right. That is very true. We're tied up right now as we have two ults on both sides uh gecko and a razor on ham Mayo and a, a razor as well on team sage wale combined with the the viper spit uh we're and i believe they're they're about to do some crazy things with the raise and gecko ults yeah it, we are looking at Huka. erham is creeping up does he does he expect abby right side though he does not what a nice shot by abby and that's the razor down yeah, nice patience by Abby. Here's the flash tucks in to the left. Very Erhan well played. is not expecting the, the re-peak by, by Abby and just gets a nice first kill of the round. And they managed to get the space in Hookah. Um, as you see, the, the Viper starts lurking up through showers but there's a trip there so yeah Wolf for now they're just chilling. Because they have they... the info for showers, Wolf will rotate it off from A. The, the strip gets shot now and then Woeful gets back because he doubts that it's B as they haven't gone out yet. It is very interesting what they will do here because the Cypher is just stuck in, in lamps and if they raise all out, they don't. They have given sight. Can he play off his strip? He cannot. Oh, that was very risky. Heard him stop. Nice flash by Sophie. <laughs> the first one almost gets Wolfo. There is a reason. The... Oh, does he clear his corner? Oh, ammo. Saves. Nice shot by ammo. Is so and I believe there. this is the... Sage Wale after a slow start. Back in the lead. And... This is... Pretty good right now. Yeah, so far by I don't know if. Oh, Abby and reaction keyed it up. Yeah, there. That was a good round from Sage Wale with the adjustment after the the, the kill from Abby. Uh, all played by her, waiting out that flash and getting the first kill on Arhan. 
Um, I am looking at Aaron right now. Um, he still has that showstopper and they still have the Echo on as well. I'm really curious what they're going to do with it. And they also have the Viper Rule. They might just yeah. um, Viper Rule short and then stack aside. Um, it is looking like that. The default right now for Sedual is just going long, take that space, maybe get the orb. Uh, try to get some info from Amster Mayo and then see how it goes. They don't get any info B long. They do have to cipher still on B. I'm curious whether or not Mano's gonna rotate off B. And right now they're rotating back to A. Yeah, but, off of just a Gecko Flash. But, I think they're expecting the race to be with them because Gecko and Rain have been playing together all game. I mean, that is fair. That is a good call. But what I don't understand is that they didn't have anyone short at all. So now they just have to clear everything right here. They, Chris spots them. Race comes in. They know the info for the race now. And they're just staying still. And it looks like they're going back B. Oh, the timing. Woeful. That was close. And Ammo punishes him. There's the first track. Are Amsom Mayo gonna react or just do they just leave to B? I think this is a good call from Sage Hall. And with a. Chris, Chris pushing that space on Shower, oh, yeah. makes sure, he gets makes the info. Sense. I heard him can just rotate, then he knows yeah. he's not there. The Viper is not there. What so they don't know is that they're playing against two trips, but they give up side already. Adam pops his ult. And doesn't trade a questionable play from Faye out there, just pushing out the smoke. It was low time to be fair, but it didn't flood together. Uh, it's... Then I haven't even planned on it. And this is one of the things that you can't really do as... In a team oh, Gekko environment. Com Gekko can't... comes out. Chris maybe and has a timing here in Hookah from he Ammo. Ammo. Ammo's down. So if you managed to get the trade on her hand. Oh, reaction, and well reaction played. gets the kill on the... One enemy remaining. Oh, Mano gets three! As wingman still. Four bullets though. Oh, there's the Brimmel. Wait, the bomb is half. Does no time. Would Zindela expect it? She has to peek right here and she closes out the round. Wow, I didn't... Zindela was, I didn't... Clutch another round. I thought there's Let's no go. way a wingman halves right there. No, it does because it, it, it has, I think, around 50 HP, so it doesn't die. To, it's like three ticks of the Brim Mold. I believe it does like 20 each tick. No, sorry, it does 40 each tick, so you can take like two ticks yeah. of damage. So mm. it gets the half. And right now, Sage Wall they just they've been having a flawless <clears throat> attack side of rounds, and they're on, a, I believe, a seven round win streak after the round on the last. Yes. Uh, last half, so they're looking very good right now. Very good Boys indeed. Win. Interesting Viper Wall here. It's looking like for a hookah, but... I'm Smeo. Yeah. Can I play close towards the, the Rim Smoke, which is a very, very interesting Rim Smoke. Reaction expects it, but they're gonna TP. They're TPing straight into the Cypher with a shotgun. Faye gets one. Gets the ult out. Kinesir can get the second crushing in from the TP. Reaction trades with one though. And it's a mess. Look at Chris out. He's out on A backside. Do they know? Oh, it's ammo. Excuse um, me. Ammo is nice, but Mano is holding. He's expecting oh, the luck well and he gets played. the kill. Very well read by Mano. Zendela is low. But Reaction is still full HP and he's been hitting some nice shots. So I see what he can cook up. It is a 2v3. And uh, the Molly misses. The Molly does miss. Reaction pops fatal. Interesting decision right here. They don't have any noise right now, but he's not getting aggressive with it. Ooh, there and he Chris goes. To get the kill. Tindela with just a brimstone Molly and 15 HP. Gets one by Faye. Oh, and almost and gets Chris. And nice Amsterdam try. Is back on the board after losing seven rounds in a row, six on attack. They finally managed to get a, uh, a round on defense, and it's still a costly. Yes. Only two people alive. I believe their money isn't the best right now, but 
nice play there by Erhan and uh, Faye. Oh, wow. Down hooker with those trips. Oh, we have a W few, few right now. <laughs> Observer is um, just uh, showing us some uh, brimstone cake. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Alright, you don't like uh, a little bit of brimstone cake, uh, Johnny? No, no, no. I, I appreciate it. I was just not expecting <laughs> Yeah, it did catch me off guard too, to be fair. <laughs> Let's see. Um, if Adam. Adam is just taking a, He's adjusting to ammo lurk and he's oh. fighting and he gets the, the little burst with the bulldog. When, you, when oh. you're precise with it, it's like insta kill. It's even faster than the. The Vandals on them, you can't really react to oh, And Wolf is a thing. bit of trouble. No, we really expect him to still be there, though. As Sophia managed to get hit and we got DK, Abby managed to kill Faye. Mano gets the trade back to, on Sophia, and the bomb is still not done, and we're back to a 3v3 with one minute left in the round. Wolf is 1 HP, Hamster Mayo does have Gecko Auto online. They could think about a TP, but they don't want to reaction. Wants to contact up and clear a bit more angles. And Chris right now is worried about that Viper look on the other side of the map as Zam has been doing and hindering a little bit of that. And then now they know that. Oh, Zindela picks up Wolfo. I believe. They're gonna they're TP gonna now! Oh, but Chris is here. He will be here for sure. Can he get a timing gun on side? Yes, he can. Will they expect him? 20 seconds left on the clock. Imal is down on, on the plant. And he managed to not get anything. He gets one. As we like a little bit. I believe they managed to get the plant down. No and one's Mano detained. misses the ult. Mana just misses the ult and 1v2 retake situation and. That's not wingman, yeah, wingman. Wingman. They're gonna have to peek to shoot the wingman. Oh, the wingman's down and the Will bomb is not halved. Will Mano expand? No. No. Nice round. 3k by Abby. Nice old at the start by Amster Mayo, but then Sage Wale with the nice call with the rotation catches uh, Chris a little bit. Um, Confused, he managed to get one, but it gets instantly killed, yeah. and they get the bomb down. And I think the, the TP play there was a bit questionable, but it worked out at, at the end. Uh, they had they knew where one showers was, they just didn't know anything about Chris, so he could literally be everywhere on the map. So then TPing there, questionable, but they got the round, and it's 11-9 for Sage Ole as they go uh, towards B-Long, all five of them. And we're seeing a little fight on, and Chris is just booking it down on short. He knows everybody is long right now. They know that no one on shower, no one on short. He just pushes and he. I believe they're just trying to get the orb. Maybe bait out a little bit of utility from the defense, and they exactly they go back. But Chris is everything. So he should know that they're rotating. I mean, to be fair, props to Sage Wale as they're expecting a push from short. And they are shift walking, so they could be up long. E even their raises cleared showers and everything, so everybody has to be either long or a short right now. A short is open. They could just walk with the. Oh no, the, the wall is down. If they put the wall up, Aaron is going to be in a bit of problem. Oh, he doesn't expect them. And Abby pops the raise all as well. Little does she know, not know, sight is very clear. And Zendala managed to get to Chris on the lurk. And <clears throat> I've, since this is an eco for Amster, I, I believe this is going to be 12th yeah. for Sage Wale. And they've been rolling through them on this attack side. Yeah. It's been flawless after flawless, and they're just. Playing super well, super coordinated, bait out the utility. Yeah. And I guess those runs that they lost on the fence without the Cypher is not really mattering anymore because they play with the um, having that fate to combo with the, the raise nades and the Viper Mollies. It's it's been there's a lot of fights that have been taking with the C's from the the Fae that just 
decays them so much that it's just so much easier to fight. Yeah, we have seen some great utility to be fair. And honestly, there were the one round that Hamster Mayo threw was just a 4v3, and other than that, they just don't have the answers yet. A lot of useful towards long again. Uh, they're fighting back for it. Long has been taken. Oh, the molly. Oh, Abby just gets away and everybody TPs into sh showers as Cypher is on A. Will Sage Wall A still go here as this they're kind of afraid of the Cypher now. Look at the minimap. Chris realizes that they're not out and everybody's running back to B from uh, from Hamster Mayo. <laughs> and right now it's just a, a little style, see if the, rota the rotations are coming in or not. I believe Sage Wale is going to go back to B and leave that Viper on the eye, try and get some pressure. Bomb is ticking. Um, it is true, it's only 30 seconds left in this round and... I'm surprised that the Brim hasn't rotated off from um, A Heaven as... We still have a Cypher on A, their Dark and Hookah should get the info right now. And the Lurk gets killed as well. Can they get bomb down in time? Yes they will and it's still a 4v4. Two people are TPing though. Will they clear Sophia? They will by wingman. Oh, nice shot by it's a spicy I'm... retake. Chris gets one. I don't know what you expect. Reaction. Yeah. Reaction gets two and he gets traded out. 12 oh, 10 by was... Sage Wale right now. That was um, interesting to say the least by Zendela just pushing out of a smoke molly in hand. But... Yeah. I don't know, you, I, don't, I don't know, like, it was just interesting. Um, but back to, back to Byron's, as you can see, the money from... Ay ay ay, from Hamster Mayo. It's not really good, but they still managed to get five rifles with the, the light shields. But, to be fair, and... they have Razel, what, they're one of Gekko, and they're close to Cypher and Viper ult 2. It can get a ult galore very soon in this if round. They manage... If they manage to win this round, it could be a very interesting last time yes. with all of those holes. Yes. It's gonna be a As fast see, a going rush. Fast with that judge, but Mano, Mano is just too aware. She mollies the entrance of b mine to stop any pushes into her. And reaction yes, so. keeps clearing. They know that it's cleared. There is and still a cypher trip on site. Get spotted now. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. There's one, there's one flanking already from sh from short. The rays will they realize it. Is the issue with no cipher? They have no flank watcher. And yeah, and Eran got one. Gets, Eran gets one. He has Razzled. Gets traded. He's traded Ooh. by Sophia, and maybe they try to go for the TP. There. And now they have to worry about the TP because Eran died right there. They will TP though, but it might be a fake for ammo. No, it's not. Launching smoke. Oh, Waffle misses two Wolfle shots, gets, gets the kill. Zendela gets the trade, but Waffle gets the bomb. And, and then you're left with ammo lurking. Questionable decision. Well, this is looking like 12-11, um, another close map. And as, as we stated, if... Amster may have managed to win this round. There's a lot of nice ults for this. Um, yes, yes, last very round. true. We have ult. We're gonna have a uh, Gecko ult, I believe, where uh, Chris didn't get any kills or orbs, so we will be one of the Viper ults. Yeah, we didn't see, we didn't get to see any ults this round, so this that is big for Hamster Mayo. They now have both the Showstopper and they have the Gecko. And Chris is and one of ult, same as Faye. And Waffle is two of his Brimwald. Yeah. I believe they will try to get... Um, no, I'm, I'm 
I don't know what I'm talking about. They're not doing anything on B. I thought they were gonna try and get that orb on on B long. Yeah, I and mean, they're just gonna go to the the old faithful. Oops. Bring on the oh, what a shot and from Abby! Just gets a nice shot on Chris, and Abby just goes in. And they got some kills off the cipher trips. Oh. And Faye is just getting a lot of taking a lot of damage after that reveal. Can Hamster and Mayo get the overtime? Or will this be a Sage Wale W? Gecko and comes in. Goes into Lamps. One gets the Tain. Faye gets Abby. Head on Pops Razor. And Hamlo misses. Kills reaction. Oh, it's a 3 one right race. now. And what a retake by What a Hamster retake! Mayo. Well played! <clears throat> and as we see a lot of me, um, mirror from both halves, the attacks just running it, running through the defense, and then on the left hand, they just can't win the post one. Yes, that is very true. We got OT, Johnny. We're going OT. It's, I mean, it's only um, fair that for the first elimination match, for the first elimination uh, series on the first map, everything on the line and it's a close map, you get OT. Very see true. If the, the teams are gonna um, lean on what was working for them on during the regular time or if they're gonna try to do something different. We already see a change yes. in Sage Wall Way. They're gonna try and take that space on A and they're and you can see on the map they're pinging out Chris yeah. on the side for the orb line. Yeah. So they know he's gonna be there and I believe they're gonna go fast and try to get Yes, him. I'm very Let's curious see. if Chris can answer back. There's the flash, you realize it, and, in, and he's booking it, and, and Abby gets dead. him though. They're gonna speed up towards B, and the question is, how many can Ammo get? Oh, what is this orb from Ammo? Doesn't get spotted, kills Edon, and he gets and traded out. 4v3 it's, retake. It's it's nice, a nice play by Ammo, he waits on in the smoke, he gets one. Even only getting one there is super important. Oh, Woeful, that but is a big Woeful kill. Woeful is pushing. Ooh. And a smoke. That is questionable. But Abby managed to get the kill, so it's a back to a 3v2. We have the heal from Sky to get Abby back to 100. Oh, what a nade! That is a perfect nade from Abby. Don't get. It's a 1v1. Manu gets to. Has to. Oh! And Sindela Oh That's, no! And we got our first no. life. <laughs> Very, very well played by Mano. Yes. This is the power of the gecko. Well you get played by Mano. You get the plant, you get an orb, and especially on OT, it's so easy to play that post plant with, with the gecko ult, and you can see the power of it. You know, 1v1, insta ult, the time, yeah. easy round, easy life. Very well played very by well Mano. Played by, by Faye and Mano there, you playing know, off each other. When Woeful the, the... swung again, or when Woeful got the kill, I thought that's a W play, and then he died instantly and I thought damn they're almost throwing this again but they do clutch it out and there that was and as you can see awful he keeps doing the same thing he smokes the yeah. long takes the orb they're wasting, some, they're wasting some utility and he gets out that's and a W molly a... they're gonna have to clear just, everything again he's just stopping and I like this adjustment by ammo instead of it's just holding the showers because he knows Without a cipher, that they have been pushing on that defense side by Amster Mayo, so he's just holding for that shower peak, but no one really is speaking. Especially as a cipher, you shouldn't be, otherwise your trips might go down. <laughs> but right now it's oh, it's an interesting setup. They're going into the Viper. Nano is Nano is rotating off. Now gets the info that they're going to a. Nit. They know they know Chris is inside Lamp, but he still managed to get a kill on reaction. Uh, Abby managed to get the nade. Do they kill. clear Chris so they Chris gets owned. another one? Oh it's 2v2 right now. And it's 2v2 and Bomb's going down. Zendela and Ammo against Mano and Woeful. Zendela gets out. It's gonna probably play for a Molly for lineup. lineup. Ammo has and two Mollies too. So I'm and this and this this position by Ammo is going to be super important. We got Wingman gets on the bomb. One enemy remaining. It smoked and off Ammo though. Ammo doesn't know that. Can Mano stay alive? Mano loses a one v one to Ammo. We're going to a second OT. We go again. Oh, I actually oh, thought Mano won it for them.
I thought Mana would clutch out the rounds for Team Handsome Mayo, but she doesn't. She loses it to Ammo. What a clutch by Ammo. That was super well played by Ammo, and as I was pointing out, that position by, if it's not properly cleared, he just wins the round off the molly. I'm really curious how close the bomb defuse there was by Wingman, because I couldn't get to see it because I was paying attention on the fight. It was very close. It should be close. Yes, yeah. Less than a second, 100%. Oh, we got a banger of a match, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is a fun map. Absolutely. And this is kind of what happened to us. Except we lost. And, <laughs> except we lost. There was no. a little breathing that was like 9 in 27 or something. Oh, <laughs> John, hey. You're a W um, teammate, man. I don't want to hear it. But right now, right now we're seeing what we were expecting to see a lot more during the the regular. The, that Viper lurking to yes. short with the wall and smoke. It does take and Hooker. We expect uh, hooker. Chris to be there, though. Yeah, he does uh, cross towards the land. Think... He's chilling there, I don't, and he's, he's gonna hear a lot of the rotation. Interesting thing is, they're playing retake B, and Hamsun Mayo is just walking into this. Ammo punishes his Aaron for this, though. As they give up sight, look at Chris, though. Look at Chris. Oh, he's gonna hear them running away. Chris should have to. He's gonna probably call for everybody to just chill and play off sight. As he flanks, there's no way in the world right now that they're expecting this. Let's see how many he can get. get two. He gets one. Oh no. Oh, he monitors himself. Oh, he fumbled. He fumbled <laughs> no. hard. Man's fumbling the ball. Look at Hookah as well. Ray's already flanking. I don't know if Mano expects it. Grenade. They definitely know he's there now. Mano gets one. Flashes out. Doesn't get the second. It's all to Wofo. It's a 1v1 with Brimold. He has to run from reaction. Oh, reaction's chasing. Hey, wins, Yo, my. Hansen Mayo does it. And Wofo gets the kill. Even though Chris whiffs and almost fumbles what should be an easy round, the yeah. bounce that gets two gets down and he just plays that with that molly miss he gives Zendela the easy body shot kill with the double damage and but still yeah Chris so, almost always, tossed around oh Mano my is good for one make some damage on Zendela and then Waffle is just a clutch king. Can we get a scoreboard check, by the way? Mano with 28 frags. Same as Zendela with 27 frags and 11 assists. It's it's definitely been a good game. And as we see again, the default for Sage Wall just be long, get that position, make sure yeah. that they're not taking that space. The thing is, right normally they're fighting this. And now they're wasting util to take B long, as now they only have one more prowler left for a potential cypher trip. So this is pretty good adjustment by Hansen Mayo. Question it, will it be enough? Will it be enough? Indeed, that is the question. And right now they're playing that race with a cypher. Will they clear this trip? They will realize soon now that Cypher's playing here, as they can hear the trip, probably. Yes. And I like yeah. this slow approach. Get the trip. This trip? Oh, he's exposed! Abby kills no. Faye! It's only up it to the and, 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 and he's down as well! One. Oh, it's looking like we're going into another OT. Oh, this fight is gonna be huge. What a timing. There is no Five way they just... Oh no, Chris turned around, so ammo! Ammo is down. It's only a 4v3 now. As we have bomb planted on B. Even though Ammo dies there, the what fact that it spot? makes Chris has to go back, not go on the flank, waste some time, it's like two seconds of, of the bomb. That delay that delayed the return, but Mana just gets another one. Mana is not waiting. Oh, she expect reaction. Oh, the timing of the a flash. With a nice Sophia button. gets Sophia. one. And we go again. Except. Reaction playing in the smoke, there's no way Wofo expects this. He doesn't, the short is out from the action. We're going to and triple we, overtime. And we go again. <laughs> also, overtime. welcome safe to the chat. I believe you guys have already won 12-0. Not 12-0, but the second, 2-0. Wait, the other map, is, the other game is already done? 
Yeah, we haven't even done one and wow. then we finished this series. Well, everybody from BCT Val 1, welcome to BCT Val 2. We have a banger of a game. Triple overtime right now. Team Handsome Mayo against Sage Wale. Uh, Abby it's playing Divine insane. Special. Mano, especially Mano, playing absolutely out of her mind. And we're slow walking into Hookah. And it's it's the issue with this map. It's so close between both sides. So I mean, I absolutely love it. I'm loving it right now. Oh, I'm loving it as well. We're getting some good games, good plays. It looks like and this will be a very clean take. Erhan saw reaction, um, jump spot there, and then we get a fairly easy oh, take. Oh, Mano gets a one. Faye gets a second. Oh, that is back. questionable. They're playing retake B, but they're not waiting for their teammates to probably flood in or retake, as both of them uh, die before the other teammates even can do Mano, anything. Again. I love this play by Mano. Wait for them. Oh, nice shot oh, by Mano. Can and we see know, another knife? Going for the knife? Yeah, and I think we will. Abby realized they already got the face. Oh, Abby's just running. Oh, Mano puts her down. Mano is absolutely feeling it. Switching sides. Match Mano is. No more doubts. It's just Three having minutes. a banger of a map making this cl clutch play after clutch play always good for one many times even good for two or three and definitely the i know it's a team game but like mano is uh, for just some insane dollars, uh, just insane no words don't forget don't forget people mano is a seat four yes <laughs> so and 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 Zindel as a seed five also having a banger of a perf uh, map uh, performance. And back to the round. Yeah, that's what we have. ECT. Head on those spots. Reaction as Abby satchels down A main. And a lot of the plays that the uh, Sage Wale have been doing on attack combo that um, Fate Utility is not available right now. Yeah. Chris They'll probably manage to get the the the. The spike down as the molly kind of hits. Yeah, bomb goes down though. It's a 5v4. Everybody is to go with, towards lamps. This is going to be a brawl very soon. Abby gets one. Nice Sophia gets the second. Oh, Woeful, Woeful trades back. And Woeful mollies. What do we have for, expect for bomb or bomb denial? Aaron gets one too and he's raises and, all the zone. Look at backside though. They don't expect ammo. Kines Turkin with... Free has to get the ace to win this. Miss Emma and missed Emma the Molly. The One enemy remaining. Oh, Emma! Both Molly's miss. Oh my god, Eron! Will he have it? Will he have it? Yes, time. Eron with four! Eron was like, nah, man, you can't be stealing my spotlight. And this guy's a banger of a 4k, closes out this amazing map. What a awesome map i just saw we just got uh, raided by bct fell one everybody welcome to this stream uh we just had a banger triple overtime um yeah johnny it's just been a, honestly it's been a pleasure and we're not done we're not done this was just map one we're gonna go into map two very very soon we're gonna take a little break though we'll be back within like five minutes approximately maybe a bit longer because everybody just played a map of at least an hour so yeah we'll we'll see you guys in a second yeah we'll see you guys take a break
Welcome back, everybody, to map two of uh, Cam Simeo against Sage Wale. We just had an absolute banger of a match. 16-14 for Am Simeo, who's up now 1-0. We have some stats on the on the screen right now. Uh, and first thing that catches my attention is Mano with banger match MVP, dropping 32 kills, 300 ACS, three first bloods as well. Um, Abu Dhabi on the other side putting up 28 with 291 ACS and eight first bloods, but that wasn't enough because Amsumeo took map one. Johnny, what the hell did we just see? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Like the game started as a eight for a half for Amsterdam. I know, we right? Thought, <laughs> we thought it was going to be a swift game. Then Sage Wally just ran through them on defense. Then some way, somehow, Amsterdam managed to get it to OT on that last round after yeah. losing like eight out of what, 10 rounds? <laughs> and then it's just. OT after OT and the little things, maybe a molly miss, maybe a shot a little bit to the yeah to the side. The ammo and then, molly. And then it's just mano. It's like bro, mano just has a, yeah. a killer of a game. Yeah. Always always good for one. Uh, uh, like out of it's especially on OT, having that uh, having that gecko ult for post plants, like uh, mana was always getting w at least one or two, maybe yeah. a, a norb and then the plant, and then it's like free ult, free game, and we even got a knife. I believe. I hope someone has clipped it. <laughs> yeah, and... yeah, we got a knife indeed. Yeah, ammo is just, or excuse me, mana played insane. Had multiple kills uh, through OT rounds. Had a three k, I think. Um, it just played out of her mind. Um, we will go into, um, uh, excuse me, the uh, Asian select very soon. Uh, I don't know which map we're playing, so even us are up for a surprise. Uh, but we are going I to... I will try to find out. Yeah, you go find out, Johnny. Um, let me see, map, map, map. Yeah, I don't know what the maps are. <laughs> um, Look, we're going to find out with you guys, okay? Uh, so we're just going to find out with you guys. We'll see whatever we'll, we'll get. And we're just going to vibe out and play some great Valorant. Because uh, this exactly. is indeed an elimination match. I don't know if I said it again, uh, earlier, but I want to remind you guys, it's an elimination map. If Sage Wall A loses, they are out. Yes, and especially the second map. I don't know which map... Uh, pick it was on on bind. I'm gonna assume it was Sage Volley because uh, from age, um, Amsterdam is standing on attack, so probably I chose it. Uh, if not, I'm just waffling. It is what it is. <laughs> and after such an exhausting map, uh, after almost like I'm pretty sure it was more than an hour because we had some tech issues. Yes. Both from the production and the player side. Yeah, because my um, dumbass muted the mic and I didn't realize that I was, uh, that no one <laughs> heard my voice for like 10, like literally a whole half. But hey, we still got a lot of rounds in OT, you know, so I'll take it. Uh, we're chilling. And still, even though HM, uh, AM Sermayo won, we still got a shout out Abby. Abby had also a banger of a map. Yes. Eight first bloods as an entry duelist. Yeah, and what about and... Eron on 4K to clutch it out? That was insane as well. True. Eron was like, okay, Mano can, if Mano can do it, let me show up something at least at the end. Uh, Eron was having a lot of impact on attack, uh, opening up a lot of sides, getting some impact frags and then on defense slowed down a little bit but they can they came back for the Heron came back for the OT yeah had some clutch frags and then obviously the 4k clutch to finish it um I don't know how long we have until the game starts yeah we uh but like I said earlier we are oh there it is we're going to split apparently we're going split it is split and right now nothing too innovative it's mostly the the same old same old comps with the rays um and the omen um sky is a little bit different i was gonna expect mana to play that gecko again it's yeah she's on the sage on this map. 
And we see a little Phoenix over, but then back to Gecko and Sophia. And it's pretty, I believe it's going to be mostly a mirror comp apart from the flasher, maybe a little bridge action. It's also, it's a nice one um, to pair with the, the rays. I, I believe Chris picks the sky here because it's a, a uh, he's comfortable playing that agent. He plays it a lot. So and there we have it. Not... Everybody locked in. What's your thoughts um, straight away, uh, Johnny? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot. We'll, we'll, uh, we're losing the, the comps for, uh, for this screen. All good. Uh, what do you, what are you thinking, Johnny? Um, I kind of forgot who was on a tank, but especially after the last map and with the, um, the way that both attacks sided sides of last map went and split in my opinion is also an attack side of the map in uh, these types of scenarios we see it a lot in vct and even in uh, game changers and uh tier two tier three whenever it's like in the team environment and, and not ranked uh split ends up being a little bit more attack sided i was kind of expecting to have a double duelist comp not gonna lie like a little jet <laughs> yeah and raise action not having the cypher or the comp Honestly, if anything, I'm surprised we have two Sage picks. Like, obviously, Team Sage Wale is going to pick Sage because, you know, it's literally their name. But I didn't uh, expect a Sage from Hamster Mayo. I don't know their comps from last week, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, I didn't. I just didn't expect the Mirror Sage. And uh, the only difference is actually we have, we're going to have the Breach on, um, I, I think, Team Sage Wale and then the Sky from Team uh, Hamster Mayo. Um, just a quick side note, I just received information by Setoff asking Leo to um, get online because he's <laughs> the one missing for the stack and I know he's, he wants to to get that ELO back, so... Sero, bro, you're supposed to watch this banger of a match, man. What are you doing? Choose Why are we Sarah. queuing ranked? After, after that first map, going into a ranked, when we're going into map 2 of this amazing game it's kind of a throw shame on but, you Sarah. but if the players are ready and i believe they are we're in the game and absolutely starts on that defense i believe we're gonna see a lot of the uh cypher set up on b with the trip in in mall and uh, not mall i uh, in mall jesus um I'm, I'm 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 something oh good oh good, good. Oh, good i'm gonna say i'm gonna say the line though johnny do you know what line i mean no. Well, if you're looking at the position of Mano and the position of where everybody else is, it's Let's look, go, they're it's, sage it, walling it, it, They're gonna sage the wall <laughs> they're, they're, Oh, 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 wall, you got a wall, Mano! Oh, she was almost in some big a, trouble. sage walling a. Let's go. This can't get more meta than this. They're gonna go and back, though. Interesting. We have three like people this. from ha Hamster Mayo here. I like this little push Waffle. by Waffle, just get there. I believe they're gonna check it. Yeah, they're gonna have still, to. It's a nice information. Oh, and he's out holding his smoke. They don't clear him. Oh, he whips, he whips no. everything. He's lucky Waffle. Adam trades him and even gets a second on Sophia. Meanwhile, on Rams, we're fighting. Amma gets one, but instantly traded by Chris. And Waffle, what was that? Ay, 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 ay. That was painful. That was very painful. All good though. It is a 3v2 for Hamza Mayo. They still have their Sage Wall, but they don't know where the Cypher is. And that's what they're worried about right now. They got spotted by the cam. Everybody knows it. Oh, Aaron making a lot of noise here. And he gets, still gets reaction. He's one HP, so he has to run off. Still takes a fight. Aaron is ready. Oh my days, we're going into a messy, but probably banger second map. I will have to take a little um, five minute break. I need to do something, but oh, good. Uh, you can solo cast for a little bit. I'll be back. Oh, good. We'll um, see you soon, Johnny. All right, be right back. Sorry, guys. No worries. No worries. And I'm just now here with you guys. Looking like it's 
Sage Wall A is going to default towards A. Adon takes a, takes a peek, got stunned by the Breach Stun. He can get away and he will. No one from Sage Wall A really following up to that Breach Stun. And they're running back now. Mano just saw ammo, the lurk. It's all gone quiet for a bit. There's a lot towards mid though. They are ready to fight this if it comes messy. And they just got the info on A that no one's there by the sky flash. So I'm expecting Adam to also go Vance very soon here. Abby's gonna sash out, gets hit by the trip. Oval picks up the first blood. Adam picks out, gets traded. It's a phantom down right now. But everybody from Hamsimeo is here to fight. And it's 2 0. They dropped two guns. Oh, Miss Messi. Uh, it is fine. Bonus round for uh, Hamsim Mayo. I'm still here alone. Uh, Johnny hasn't joined me. So uh, I'm gonna solo cast for a bit. Uh, it's looking like a 1 3 1 from Sage Wall A right now with the Cypher lurking B and Reaction taken. Or the Cypher lurking A and Reaction taken B main for free. Does he expect Adam though? Adam does not expect him, and that's the first blood by ammo. Does he expect the second one close though? I don't think he will. Oh, woeful, that's a lot of damage. Ammo survives. What is this? Oh, this is the defense stage. Well, I was about so confused for, for a small second there. Uh, it's looking like a B split. I have to kill the trip. They walk right into it. Abby gets some damage off. Gets a lot of damage off. Oh, what a flash! Reaction and Zendela get a kill. It's a 2v3 right now. They are pivoting towards A. Ammo lurked up all the way to A. Oh, yeah, I was about to say you're pushing it a little bit too much. But by ammo dying there, they think it's A right now. Yeah, look. The open all rotated all the way to screens. They will get bombed down for free. And it's gonna be Chris alone here for a while. Oh, so I only got a Spectre, I'm pretty sure. Can Sage Wale convert this bonus? They don't really have a crossfire. I think Chris will suspect the Omen Raptors. Yeah, he does. Chris gets the third and the fourth to close out the round. And it's the bonus converted from uh, Hanser Mayo. How's everybody in the chat doing, by the way? I was... Uh, the BC tree stream A. I uh, obviously didn't watch any of it. So I was casting, but I hope you guys had a good time there. We had a great first map. It was a 16 14 overtime, I'm pretty sure. Amson Mayo took it. And they're up 3 0 right now. Oh, they're doing great. Adon gets the first blood with a spray through the smoke on Sophia. Oh, Abby with a nasty shot on Wopal though, as Mana decides to wall of mid. They got info that there's towards B main as well. Yeah, I'm looking at the minimum. Oh, Adon. Very sneaky, but gets a nice kill. Very bold play to just sit on top of the wall there.
Let's see if he expects more behind the sage wall. A is open, to be honest, so they, they're they kind of worried about it right now. Sage wall breaks. Mano gets the info. Aaron is walled off now. Chris gets the info that everybody swore in the mid. And he's breaking the wall too. Chris gets one. 2v4 with just 25 seconds left. Aaron gets three. And drops almost at back to back 4Ks. And Chris cleans up the round. There are a couple of pings going out on the minimap right now. Um, team Sage Wale pinging a potential uh, mid events play. They have no one towards A main though, so it is looking like a E split. Chris breaking the Roomba. They took vents, but I don't really know what the play is there. I don't know if ready with a showstopper and an aid. Let's see, Adam. Let's see how many he can get. Because now that the sage wall broke on A main. There is no threat for him though, he can just hold vents. Oh, they're creeping up, he saw one. It's Abby. He loses the fight. Doesn't pop Showstopper at all. I know exactly where Mano trades him out. Mano with two, oh, she's just playing insane. 30 seconds left. She will get crushed though. Last player standing. Oh, Ammo responds with two with three. Well played by him. And Sage Wale is on the board. For the people that just tuned in, we're uh, doing a solo cast right now as uh, John is still uh, MIA. We have a couple of ults this round with two revives and a showstopper still on team hamster mayo mid is wall the meadow wolf with a very risky jiggle right there good aim in Team Hanser Mayo is clearing A with a Sky Dog very deep as Mano just gets the first blood. They just got the info that Reaction is B main too. They have all the map control right now. Look at this in sewers. Raze is pushing as well. Yeah, they have nowhere else to go except for B. Faye knows it as well. Spamming the cage. There comes the Razel. Faye goes down. Guess who's back. Welcome back, Johnny. We're in a 4v4 right now with still a couple of ults left. Mom is gonna go down for Team Sage Wale. Spike planted. Sophia drops Chris. And there goes the ult from reaction. What a flank by Eron. They just didn't expect it. And it's gonna be 5-4 for Team Hamster Mayo. Yeah, it's not looking good for uh, Team Sage Wale, Johnny. It's not looking good. <sighs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I just had to run up the steps. <laughs> Are you good, bro? <laughs> nah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just joking. Alright, um, nice, 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 nice. So, what did I miss? How's, how's the runs going? Honestly, it's just... 
not looking great for Team Sage Wall A. They keep defaulting towards mid and B heaven, uh, but they're just not getting any value out of it. They're, the, the trips B main are still there always. They're not giving any threat towards A as um, Team Hamster Mayo sometimes walls A and then there's nothing there. Ammo did have a great round, uh, which brought them there one round, but it's just not looking good. And they just keep on doing the same stuff. Kind of surprised that fa uh, phasing the one way for you to play on the right side, not the left side. Yeah. There was a gap. There was. <laughs> kind of lucky for a reaction not to die there from the one way. But nice moves. Finally, the first. And the move okay. towards. Finally, the first move towards A. They realize there's a lot mid. And they're gonna go take A main, which has been free for a long time. Aaron, po Aaron pops Razor. Watches up his satchels, and there goes the O2. Oh, Chris almost went <laughs> spray down in two. Bomb A what is free. He, I know, man. It's still been very messy, even the second map. And it's kind of unfortunate that uh, Heron doesn't get anyone with that ult. Yeah. It was a nice play, because the two of them went into Chris, but he only managed to get one. Yeah. And as we have set off in this call. Hey, Mr. Sarah. One enemy remaining. One enemy remaining. My ultimate is ready. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank oh, you. Good, I'm back, I'm back. If you wanna. Oh, good. Oh, We're going to one while. Oh, what do you want? Can I get it? He doesn't. And Wolf gets Waffle it. And it's 6 1. Shout out to Mr. Uh, shout out to Mr. Sarah for uh, joining there, wanting to fill up the gap. Yeah, I, I'm sorry I didn't take some care of something. I'm back. Oh, and look good. We see Waffle still as much of a clutch master as he was when we started doing these tournaments back in 2021. Um, it's looking rough right now for Sage. Really. Yeah, it Not is looking rough. Especially from my experience in splits recently. Um, <laughs> it has been a lot. <laughs> Uh, attack, attack sided, sided right? Yeah. And if we're thinking about those metrics, this is amazing. By Amsterdam, you're already getting six. And from what I'm, from what I watched, and from what I'm watching right now, they're fairly poised to make a few more. Chris managed to get out. I Use mean, his last flash. I just feel like we're not getting enough um, out of our breach. Like the breach still has her son. Like. It, there, it, there's just not I know exactly enough coordination with the breach, to be honest. Hey, hey, Twitch chat. I uh, just ran up, up and down the stairs with wood for my fireplace, like doing my cardio and gym. So w. give me a break. It's a W. Man's, man's hungover is. W um, man's. As Chris gets one kill. As Chris gets one, just to put emphasis on his build difference and he gets another one, pops the sky ult, he knows there's one close and he's using that s smoke so well as Waffle instantly trades ammo reaction goes for the ult, gets the res off and managed to get the trade, Sophia gets another one, reaction goes for the pick oh, it's and messy. it's, a, it's back, back to a 1v1, her hand dodges the flash, he knows exactly where Sophia is Will they expect the rapper on though? Surely it does. I think he will. He will, but he, and yes. he gets it. It didn't get it half, but I believe he has. He, time. he has enough time, more than enough time. Oh and no! All good. And um, I mean, Sage will a use how many ults that run? Can we can we get a quick scoreboard up? So they used. They used the Cypher yes. ult, they used the yes. Sage ult, and the Breach ult. And, I... and they still lost the round. And this they is... still lost. To be and honest... Especially with the Sage ult, like the, the res, res rate was perfect, because Reaction managed to get the one holding yes. for the res. I agree. The reser doesn't die. And then when they Breach ult, they managed to get the trades, but just... It's the back and forth, and I I'm, I'm just. I mean, defenders. I'm again, like I said earlier, I'm. I'm honestly just not seeing. Oh, woeful! Oh, you risky boy! Oh, you get punished. 
Chris trades and gets one though. And Sophia kills Ammo. I. If Ammo wasn't tilted already, sure. Oh, he will now. for sure be. I mean, let's be honest. Like, look at the minimap right now. Sage Wall Day. Or, excuse me. I'm Sumail <laughs> Wall Day. And it's just free info. You know, with trips still be, we, we are just not breaking this utility and, enough. And for the. And for that person in my rank games that when I was walling I mean was like oh this wall is bad <laughs> see just a, just gotta play around it just gotta be smart but question nice is breach stun with the satchel going in yes agreed Faye doesn't manage to get the well they expect the Chris the they chat. don't but Chris is already on the flank uh, Chris w Chris went in to be main and they never cleared it and they thought it was clear because they even planned it for garage but now they should know that the Wrapping CT. I mean, this is a good play, though. The, yeah, they definitely know they're wrapping CT. So, one should just hold heaven. One enemy remaining. Good and, stun and nades, but Chris, and Chris gets just both gets of them. both. What an and absolute Mano managed, machine! Mano managed to get half and not and get out in time before the plastic of damage from the nade. Good. Uh, Play. I th uh, for a second, I thought they were a little bit confused for when they were My gonna types. peak, but looking looking very good. But still, since the rounds are yeah. so close, we we see some half shields. Still, to be, um, to be honest, uh, a guardian and not really much money in the bank for it. They are buying though, but they're still buying. They're man. They're managing to keep those buys going, and more importantly, they they have won eight rounds already. Yeah. The eight, the most eight rounds is very big. It's very nice, and by look, the looks of it, I don't know if they're managed. And Chris gets timing. I Chris, by looking at the, why are you looking the other way there, buddy? It is not there. I, th I think they're chilling a little bit too much because they're winning right now. But this is one of the, the the things I was worried about, and I was gonna talk before I had to dip so fast. Um. After a grueling first map, going to triple UT, and especially after losing that map, both teams are obviously going to be fatigued. But if you're winning, you have that mental advantage. Yeah. And for the losing team of the first map, it's super hard to have to play another map after losing an UT. Yes, Erhan gets reaction looking at a wall. <laughs> Abby managed to, managed to trace Mano, and it's back to 3v3 even after... As I receive a DM by Deltas telling me L casting, you're, you're <laughs> gonna take some L's in those ranks stacked. So shut up. <laughs> As again, it's trade after trade and trade after trade. And so far. One enemy and here I'm just. Oh, gets, Aaron, it's just perfect. What an L. It's just perfect utility usage. He goes with a f uh, omen blind into a razor. They're both blind. They're stacked together. It's clean. Um, clean exacts of the retakes yeah. and I don't know. Yeah, I said the same thing in the first map, and I was wrong because we went to OT. But I'm this uh, is kind of looking. In... I'm seeing in the Twitch chat right now. Jenny spam spam this ball to help Sage Wall. Well, <laughs> now the thing is, they clearly re need it right now. They need some energy, and again, after playing that. Uh, long of a map and going uh, having to go again I for mean, the first map. Honestly, Especially when the first few rounds don't go in your favor, it's it, it starts to get to your head. That but, is true. Uh, I, I will agree with. But honestly, we're just not getting the right adjustments right now from Team uh, Sage Wale. Chris gets one. Not, Chris gets the first pick. I managed to trade on the lurk mid, and Abby gets another one. But it's still a three v three. But Abby managed. Take that advantage that and he picks, but gets that Unlucky. phantom dink. See if he if he has a vandal there. Zendala would be dead. I mean, but if it's, anyone it's... can do it today, it's Mano. But look at the HPs; they're all one HP. Will she clear ammo? She gets the first. Knows Abby is backside, takes a gunfight. Oh, Abby wins no, it. No, 
That was aye, so aye, close. Aye, aye, that was very close think... indeed. In the half. Abby was on 5 HP and I believe Zanella was like on 10. Yeah. Abby, less than 20 HP combined with... And it was so close. And again, see, it's these rounds here. have been so close. And Faye's not going to have a buy or going to have a, a bad buy. Exactly. Faye's going with a Stinger and half shields because even though Amster May has been winning the rounds, it's always only yeah. one left. It's always yeah. the close. And especially for Sage Wale, they keep getting the plants, so they keep getting buys. Yeah. And they, they come with a little bit better of a buy, but. They're playing Retaker. After some questionable uh, satchels by Abby. Is this gonna be. Oh, Zendella. Wait, what? Zendella with she, a lurk. I, I, Zendella, I think. Uh, Omen. Yeah, oh, she gets, Omen did she into... Omen ult there? She gets two as well. What a play. Can, can she get a third? Chris is holding for her. Behind a trip. Oh, and Chris trades her out. Alright, it's a 4v3 right now. Faye gets one, hell. Abby traded. Yeah, I'm, never, I'm never doubting this thing again. <laughs> Chris wraps around. Oh, the paranoia. Chris gets her, though. And Chris has one. And again, it's a 2v2, but a time is taken. Ammo with Chris the kill. Dies. And reaction with the second. We have and a 9-3 half here, Johnny. 9-3 curse. Hey, yo. Maybe. Hey, it's... We saw the same thing last map. They run. Uh, um, Amsterdam Mayo wins the first half convincingly, but doesn't manage to close out the last round. Yeah. Then Sage Wale goes on the run. So I don't know. And I want to shout out one of our Twitch shouters by the name of V. <laughs> I, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Yeah. Um, by saying Amos Mental is in more pieces than Sir Pendix. <laughs> Lurked items in the solo queue. Um, I believe so, yes. Yes, very much. Lurk. Very nice. All I'm gonna say is Ammo is on defense now. He is a cypher. This is gonna be his half. Oh, what a play. They're, fight ha they're hard fighting A. Breaking the trip potentially. Let's see the reaction from Hamster Mayo. They're dogging up heaven right now. And I like this play by Faye. Just sitting there, waiting for the push. Yeah, he, very smart. Faye, here's um, the breach rotating, and they know that. Let's see. They're gonna be. Let's look at an ammo. Advantage on side. Let's look at ammo. Will we swing out of this? Ammo swings out. Gets one. Gets two. He gets two. Let's go. What a play by him. And it looks like Sage Wall Eight is gonna take this pistol. Yeah, it was a nice. It wasn't even a retake because the bomb was planted, but it was a nice peek. I think it just was. It was like. Boom. Yeah. Uh, I need to. I just need to. To do something. You know, give me a chance. Look at this. Everybody from Sage Wall A is uh, grouped up. <laughs> we have a triple over and under setup right now. Let's mm. see if. Uh, Fade, I was it, believe? Yeah. Let's see if Fade. Can fake and any anything at all. The camp will spot everyone. <laughs> she knows what she's up to right now. If I wins this round, I'll take my shirt off on stream. Goodbye. Gets one. Oh, I, I'm not gonna lie, Johnny. I wanted to see for it. A second, for, for a second, I was like, uh, I was maybe uh, not TOS. I was uh, celebrating for Faye there. If uh, if we'd see a shirtless John, <laughs> shirtless Johnny. <laughs> nah, 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 we're chilling, we're chilling. Um, I mean, look, all I'm saying is, Sage will get pistol, and they get the second round. You know, we're, we might it's... have a game again on our hands. And don't forget, we're playing both maps that you tend to go to OT. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, what a satchel and the flash. Zendela is nice. just dead. And Abby is gonna spray, but loses a gunfight. It's 4v3 and for Hamza Mayo right now. And it's just that... It's just that fast play into the ramps is so hard to stop. 
Sophia gets I'm one. Chris doesn't oh, swing that. Chris. And he gets both oh, of them. He also almost flicked on ammo. And it's our first thrifty of the map. Thrifty. I believe. Uh, are they. Is Hamster Mayo in our cons? Because as we say, it's gonna go like the last map. They get pistol, they get the, the bike. Uh, yeah. And then they just pull out an eco. Just really. With a tough. nice. Nice bit of utility. Use that bridge yes. sun. Very well played by uh, Team Hamster Mayo. The the the, the, the Sorry, sky not, flash not double satchel. Yeah, there was no breach. Sky sun. flash with the blind omen blind yeah. omen blind to get it out. Yeah, it's 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 looking really good. That's some nice utility, to be fair. How do you think the mental is looking like right now, Johnny? Um, I believe it's like my mental when we were losing. Boom. <laughs> nah, I, 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 I have played with reaction and his night is night. Yeah. Oh, man, I really need sleep. It's nice when uh, you, you're down, you get the morale up. And I, I played with um, both Sindel and Navi and the really chill people. I've never played with Sophia, so I can't really... Um, speak to that fact. Yeah, I 100% know that in Amster Mayo, even if, when they were losing, the vibes were always high. So I assume when they're winning, the vibes are still high. And as uh, as long as they manage, it's like in the Fnatic game on Icebox versus Loud. Keep the comms clean, make the calls, and just play the game. Just try to enjoy. Yeah. And as long as I mean, you win, you lose, it is what it is. Um, you still manage to get to playoffs. We as VTO, we got group. <laughs> we only got one PD win against the Alkis, it doesn't really count. Um, Look at this though. Just enjoy the process and... Add on, I mean, Chris. At this point, you have wow. nothing to lose and then... I say this and they just get rolled. I, mean, I know it's an They got the still. first pick to be fair, but after that it's just been a slaughterhouse. I'm uh, it's I'm very curious how um, Team Sage Wale is gonna play this defense with the breach, because like I said earlier, I'm not seeing enough out of the breach from there from them basically. And having a breach on defense means you gotta play a lot more proactively compared to if you have I don't know a sky to just play for info. And it's looking like yeah. it because we have the breach and race towards so A with a paranoia. They take him in. Faye is very deep though, and Abby gets the kill. Okay, this is a it's good that... start. And people say that the nade uh, isn't good as a flash. Like, he, his POV is just blocked there from the nade yeah. uh, fumes and a little bit of whiffage. Yeah. But since they're winning 11 4, we'll let Faye <laughs> uh, slide that one. Yeah. Um, it's. A is free right now for the Taken for Team Hamster Mayo, and I think Team Sage Wale realized that they haven't committed to B at all. And I, I like this play by Herhan, just slowly going up, seeing yeah. if, if anyone is there. No one knows he's there. Zendala goes for a big C2, smokes mine, and get smoked. Cannon is out of the bag. And the round is there. He shoots the trip. Oh, Sophia, big but kill Sophia on that Big, big kill on that. It's a 5v3 right now. I'm really and curious if uh, Hams may have got any... Uh... I don't know which... What utility um, Sage Wally has right now, but... Oh, uh, the Sage... The Sage just heals the I mean, bridge, nice. Look at the Omen, and though. Look, look, at, should... look at the Omen. Look at the Omen position. Woeful. Look at Woeful. He's still behind. He's gonna be behind him. Chris is gonna delay Chris as well. Get two. Chris gets two. And now Woeful can't get the kill and backstab. Chris with three. Chris with four. Can we see the first ace? Chris with the ace. Let's go. Oh my days. And is. Chris, it was like, nah, I'm the OG bandit. I'm the OG oh, ranked demon of this, of BCT. Chris enough is enough. Is 27 and 8 right now, and he is him. I don't know who's watching right now, but let me tell you.
Chris is him. Hey. I uh, it is what it is. Uh, and it's... let's be honest, you gotta be mentally boomed if you're safe to LA at this point, right? Because there's yeah, no way you lose that. that. Especially after getting the the backstab yeah. on uh, Wolf. That's insane. It doesn't get anything. Reaction. And reaction is just... Gets one, yeah. gets traded out. Uh, they have Sage res as well, so it's gonna be a 5v4 even after they get the first blood. Abby with the spray down. It's dies by Chris. Oh, it's a mayhem. And it's all up to Sophia. And I believe And it's it is GG. GG. is out of BCT 6. Team Hamster Mayo takes it and will be playing Amex King tomorrow, which will be the second time they're going to play this weekend as they played earlier today. But that's um, it, Johnny. And yeah, no, that's it. It was um, honestly, it was a nice map to see. And obviously, we have to shout out Chris with that ace yes, to clutch up the round. That was insane. Um, for a second, I thought we were going to have a repeat of first map where one team goes ahead and the other one pulls back. Then we go to OT and it's a grueling match. Yeah. But I think the the fatigue and the the tiredness... And the mental, uh, probably. Teams, yeah, probably um, wasn't in the best place, but that's how sports go. It happened to us. Yeah. It can happen to everybody. And... Unfortunately, this is the end of the road for Sage Wale. They've, um, they were the the number one seed from Group One. Um, they they say goodbye now. I think they should still be proud of what they accomplished. Absolutely. They played very Absolutely. well, very good. Um, Valorant, and I mean, it happens. You win some, you lose some. Yeah. Um. I don't know if you want to do a little interview with someone, we can get... I'm down to get uh, someone in, honestly. I, I did get told by production that we'll have some stats coming up very soon. So stay with us, we're not done yet. We might do a post-game interview as well. Uh, maybe you can um, maybe you can get onto that, Johnny. You can look at that. Yeah, I'm, I'll contact the team All right. to try and get um, All right. a, a little interview, see if they can join us. Uh, let me ping uh, Mano, Chris, uh, Faye, HM, uh, uh, Kine, and Waffle. Anyone down for the interview? And it's... Well, that was day one from uh, the playoffs or uh, I think BCT6. we won't have any interviews, but we'll just wait for the... Um... Yeah, we are waiting still for the stats that we will have cooked up very soon here. Uh, who is your uh, MVP from the BO3, uh, Johnny? Um... Lovely. Hey, Mano. I mean, honestly, uh, I, th <laughs> I think Mano will join us. Um, okay, awesome. I think we can also ask. Like, I'll probably give it to Chris. He had two banger maps. First one dropping thirty, and now dropping another third. Hello, Mano. And Hello. We joined with the captain of uh, Amster Mayonnaise, or. <sighs> <laughs> All right, one second, Mano. Uh, Kai is going to send you a link in a second, so they will be able to hear you on stream. For until that moment, we're going to look at the stats real quick. I mean, honestly, like, there's nothing else to say here. Like, Chris dropping 29, 452 ACS. What a banger performance from him. Yeah, and I'll probably give it to Chris. And not biased at all, because. <laughs> but still, as we can see from the loadouts, and this is actually what we were pointing out, like the value is just going up and down, up and down, because the rounds, like they were always so close, so close. But still, um, 
Amster Mayo just pulls it out, does a clean 13-4. The defense was solid. The attack was clean. We even got a little ace. I was expecting another knife from Mano, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you can't for... wish for everything, let's be honest. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I think um, everybody played super well. Uh, everybody should be proud. And while we wait for Mano to be able for you guys to be to hear Mano, yeah. um, we can talk about tomorrow, maybe. Final thoughts. I mean, let's let's talk about tomorrow for a bit, right? Because like, oh, yeah, yeah, we still have a we still have a banger game left tomorrow. We're gonna start so we with have... uh, we're gonna start with the losers final, which is Amster Mayo against A Max Singh. True, and then it's gonna also it's gonna be the battle of some titans with Chris and and Zan trying to outfrag each other, I believe, and then Sank and Avian and uh, Sheik or Laura as um. An amazing game earlier in the the first time that they met on Sunset. Yeah, and I mean, I'll I'll say that I'll say this about Sunset, right? I cast it Sunset as well. I'll say this: it was very close, and I think Hamster Mayo should have took it. I think they should have took map one on, or like the that map. They threw a couple of rounds. They had some great util. They had a great answer for Xan as well on Sunset. Because we clearly didn't, and they were prepared for it, and they had a great answer, which helped them out a lot. They just couldn't get to to close out the rounds, honestly. There were just a couple of 4v2s, 2v1s that they just lost, and they just didn't have to. And the same happened a couple of times on the last on the in the BO3. But to be fair, it didn't happen that much as the first map. Hey, it happens. Um luckily the they managed to close out for them luckily they managed to close out pretty one sided not gonna lie and i'm kind of excited for the rematch the, absolutely um, and especially and more than that is how the winning team from that is gonna be able to recover for like how is that gonna be to then play the grand finals again yeah I need a max win, but which for a lot of people that uh, have been watching BCT rated them a little lower. I mean, after we played them, we knew pretty much they were a very good team. And coming into playoffs, I believe everybody had them at, as the fourth best team, and they're, right now they're they're the only ones on the grand finals. They won both maps. Uh, the series that they won in the upper finals. Was I believe thirteen four and thirteen six, so not even close. Yeah. So fun, fun matches for sure. Uh, Mano, you here with us? Okay, so still trying to figure it out. Uh, we'll get the inf- an interview soon. I keep waffling. Yeah, I will keep on waffling. <laughs> yeah, I will keep yapping. Honestly, yep, I yep, wanna. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, honestly, uh, I think we have some great matches tomorrow. We have a show match too, right? We true, have the, true. The... Be sure to be tuning in between the first B after the first B of three, and before the grand finals, the players will have an hour, I believe, an hour break or how long yes. the show match will take. Yes. So tomorrow we're gonna start the B of three, which is the lower finals at two p.m. After that. Around probably four, we're gonna have flat show match. Uh, Mr. Johnny is gonna play in there as well. It's gonna be sure. uh, Faye, Epic Failure, Jack Carlos, Carries, Seraph, Johnny against Faison, RG, Woeful, Mena, and Princess Fireswine. True, it's it's gonna be an interesting, it's obviously a fun, uh, fun time. Um, we're gonna we're gonna cook up something. You can check the comps that Vlad <laughs> has cooked up. So there's uh, as as you should know, there's some like power ups depending if you play. I mean, you can you can play whatever comp you want, but if you end up using those, and it's kind of the point, 
you'll have uh, specific targets and things that you get. For example, if you play five duelists, uh, you get an extra 500 credits after the round if you win it yeah. by not planting the spike. Um, you have the donuts that you get. <laughs> A thousand credits if you pull off a donut. Look, Johnny, um, I want to see a donut, man. I really want to see a donut. I believe, I believe we're leaning a little bit more into the domain expansion. A lot of like Killjoy, Viper, Arbor, olds like that, you know, just to be a little bit trolly and yeah. um, lower everybody's FPS for a few rounds. <laughs> and I, I'm trying to find the message from Vlad with the exact comp so I can tell you. Uh, from, but my Discord is not not cooperating. Oh, good, Mano. I was it uh, looking over there. Good to go in a second. Okay. 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 We're almost there with our post game interview. As uh, image. Where is it? Where is it? Why can't I find it? Okay, I found it. I was just... Yeah, yeah. as you can see, for the BCT show match, the compositions and bonus are as follows. The Motley Crew, which is... Get your ultimate last round of every half. So every half... You're going to have your ultimate. And the comp is Astra, Brimstone, Arbor, Omen, and Viper. Then you have Aiding on Sight, which is the five duelist comp. And basically, if you, as I said, if you win the round without planting the spite, everybody on the team gets another 50, uh, 500 credits. And you can do whatever variation of the... Yo, are you in, are Mano? We... Are we in? Are we in? Oh, good. Let's do it. Waiting still? Okay. Okay. As as we finish up Mano joining in for the final interview and then to close, I'll just finish it, the show match again. Yeah. Then we have the domain expansion comp, which is uh, you start each half with three ult charges. So at, at zero, zero, you already start with three charges on your ult, which is ISO, Viper, Killjoy, Arbor and KO. Then you have the Ops, Hello. which is if you get a knife kill, you get 200 credits. Then all flash all the time. And this is the one that gets uh, benefited from the donuts. We're and ready, it's we're ready. All flashes. And yes. then immovable objects. We good Mano, to go. welcome. I think we're welcome, good welcome. to go. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. How are you oh. feeling after that series? I feel absolutely amazing i love my team all right <laughs> i mean you guys you just you do not understand like oh that that ace you just seen from chris right oh my mm -hmm. god I'm, I'm about to like explode everyone hey, what was going on at that <laughs> at that moment when chris uh clutched it for you guys was, what mean, was honestly, it looking like we all died and then we see chris is in like that one before right and we're just we're just screaming chris get this ace get this ace <laughs> Like no one, no one was nervous, right? No one yeah. like, cared. We were laid back the whole two games. We just so, we, uh, we played our game. We had fun. So some great fives. Hell yeah! I was I uh, I, I was map one because you guys were in a battle that one, going yeah, honestly, back and forth and back and forth and then clutching it out overtime. And even that was very close, coming into like a one v one. And honestly, the whole like. The whole game was going pretty fine, but we did obviously have moments where we got annoyed at ourselves and stuff. But Chris just took a step back, told us like, "Guys, we need to play together. We can't be taking these one v ones, dying yeah. stuff like that." And we obviously we just locked in. We listened to him. Yeah. We made we made a ten twelve come like we got those two rounds so we could go into yeah, OT. Exactly. And we just we reset. We played our game how we would normally play our game, and obviously it, it clearly worked for us. Fair play to you guys, and then to map two. How 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 did that go from your perspective? Because honestly, you guys just it was just a good start, and and it just got better and better and better, and then you close off with a nine three half. Honestly, in agent select, we were think we were doing a little bit of a funny ride. Like these guys are called Sage Wall A. What if we start yeah. Sage Wall A? 
So we did that. I just no thought way. Going gay. <laughs> so it, it was like a that. meme pick. Um, I mean, I, I've never, I've never played Sage. Uh, oh, wow. Like, I just uh, that's not an, that's not a jam I play. It wasn't really a meme pick. We did want to play it, or, but the way we played, we kind of just like were messing about, having fun. That's all <laughs> it really was. That's... Hey, it clearly worked because you guys were rolling. Hell yeah. yeah. I all mean, right, I, now, uh, sorry, go on. I did say before, like, I did say to myself before the game, I just popped off in that first map, right? I dropped 32, like, I, I need a game where I can chill. I need to get carried this game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Your first map was a performance, probably the performance of the day. I can't lie. Well, thank you. Thank you. I did, like, that was a life game for me, you know? It was definitely a life game, and even me and johnny where we kept shouting out like look at mano getting a 3k here closing out the round getting a 2k opening up the round like what like what did you have before that game did you eat anything did you, no, did you have I, am, I have not eaten <laughs> <laughs> i had a can of rubicon mango that's about it <laughs> i was gonna i was gonna ask you did it was just that wink wink <laughs> Hey yo, I mean, hey, yo, hey, save yo. that one for the DMs, you know what I'm saying? We'll save yeah, exactly. it. All right. I want to go back, sorry Johnny, I want to go back real quick before the BO3. You guys play Team Aim Maxing, will you, which will you, you'll play them tomorrow for your first uh, BO3 in the winner or the losers final. Um, what were your thoughts on losing at 13, 10, 13, 11? I can't remember. Uh, 13, 10, yeah, honestly. That game, we knew what we were supposed to do, but we're like, even in the first week, even in scrims, we've been a team that just start really slowly. It yeah. takes us a little bit of time to get into our groove, you know? And um, I think in a best of three, we can definitely pull that back. I think we can definitely maybe win that game. I do think we have the capability to do that. And, should you uh, guys have... Uh, I personally think you guys should have that won that map. I think definitely... If we picked up the pace earlier we definitely could have won for sure i mean i think there... that in no way was that map unwinnable for us i mean there were like at least three rounds where you guys just threw away a man advantage and still yeah, lost like, a round i think especially for me i wasn't in the because i know it wasn't my aim that was the issue and like that was me yeah. being stupid and dying in stupid places and stuff yeah yeah like i do know if I had just stopped to think, we definitely could have done better. And we could have won that map. For sure. Hey, all good. You guys won. You're playing... You you have a chance of um, revenge tomorrow. Oh yeah, like... And... It's a best of three tomorrow. Sorry, sorry, go, go. Yes. Um, I don't know.